What's going on YouTube? This is Marty coming at you once again with my common perspective of an issue. Today, I want to talk about sexual assault. And I want to talk about the difference between a politician being accused of sexual assault and an entertainer being accused of sexual assault. Now, first, what I'm going to do, I'm going to let y'all listen to Tower Reed. Now, Tower Reed is a young lady who's accusing Joe Biden of sexual assault from 1993. Now, so we're going to listen to this interview first with her, and then we're going to come back. We're going to talk about why is there's a difference between politicians who commit sexual assault and entertainers. So let's go. Joined now by Tara Reid herself, the former staffer for Joe Biden, who came forward with the allegations that Biden sexually assaulted her in 1993. Uh, Tara, welcome to Democracy Now. Um, it is very difficult to go back over something like this. But if you wouldn't mind, um, telling us about how you came to decide at this point that it was important for you to tell your story. You had come forward last year when others talked about um, uh, Senator Joe Biden, the former vice president, the presidential candidate, um, being sexually inappropriate with them. But you didn't go as far as to tell this story that happened in 1993. So why don't you tell us what happened? I actually tried to tell the story um, to some extent in 1993 um, in the sense that I wanted to talk about it, but I was too afraid. My mother had encouraged me to file a police report, and I did not, and I should have. Um, so I filed the sexual harassment um, claim or just I filled out a paper and then did not hear back. Can you give us the circumstances, how you ended up, uh, what was the day, how you ended up alone with Joe Biden? Explain what happened that day. Um, I was approached by my supervisor. She handed me a gym bag and said, hurry, Joe wants you wants this, um, so get it to him, He's meet you down towards the Capitol. And I went down the stairs and... I don't remember exactly where I was um, because there's connections between the Russell building and all of that and the corridors, but we were in a semi-private location. It wasn't a room. It wasn't the Russ, you know, the Russell office building. It was, I mean, in the Russ, his office, it was down in the corridors. And um, I handed him the gym bag and then he, it was one, as I described, fluid moment he was talking to me and he said some things that I don't recall. And I was up against the wall and he, I remember the coldness of the wall. And I remember his hands underneath my bluffs and underneath my skirt and his fingers penetrating me as he was kiss, trying to kiss me and I was pulling away. And he pulled back and he said, come on, man, I heard you liked me. But he was angry, it was like a tight voice and he tended to smile when he was angry and he isn't like the uncle joe like everybody talks about now he was younger he was my dad's age at the time and very strong and he looked insulted and angry and i remember feeling like i had done something wrong when he said that statement and then i was standing there when he said he was still near me he said pointed his finger and said you're nothing to me now, I'm not going. That's part of the interview. I'm not going to play the whole thing because I want to get into get into talking about why is there's a difference between politicians who is who are being accused of um, sexual assault and entertainers who's being accused of sexual assault. What is the difference? You know, I don't understand why we allow politicians to be accused of sexual assault and nothing happens. Now, this is not about Joe Biden. This is about politicians. In general, Bill Clinton, Donald Trump, Joe Biden, uh, Brett Kavanaugh, all these people have been accused of sexual assaulting women back in the day. Just like Bill Cosby, just like R. Kelly, just like Harvey Weinstein has been accused of sexual assault women back in the day. What I mean by back in the day, years ago. But the difference is Harvey Weinstein, Bill Cosby, and R. Kelly are in jail for their behavior. But people like Joe Biden, Donald Trump, Bill Clinton, and Brett Kavanaugh 
and went on to prominence in this country. Brett Kavanaugh, Supreme Court. Bill Clinton was once president. Donald Trump is president. Joe Biden is running for president. And Joe Biden has been the vice president and a senator during this whole ordeal. So why is there a double standard? Why? I don't get it. You know, we have all these women groups out here who fights against R. Kelly, who fights against Bill Cosby, who fights against Harvey Weinstein. But when it comes to politicians, they shut their mouths. So in a way, I'm going to blame these women groups because y'all picking and choosing who y'all want to go after. Y'all will go after an entertainer, but you won't go after a politician. How can someone take you serious about sexual assault as a women's group when you pick and choose which guys you want to go out there? You know, I'm not going to use the race thing. I'm going to stay away from the race thing because I can go there too. Because you got powerful white men in political office that people are afraid of. But in the entertainment industry, outside of Harvey Weinstein, you have black males that no one gives a damn about. No matter how big they are in the entertainment business, no one still gives a damn about them. I don't get it. I really don't get it. You know, we need to wake up and be consistent with this sexual assault thing. We elected Donald Trump while he was being accused of sexual assaults. Matter of fact, Donald Trump admitted to sexual assault when he said that he that women love to be grabbed by the pee. He admitted that on tape and we still elected him. But we blew it off as saying that's locker room talk. That's what men's do in the locker room. Y'all don't see anything wrong with this picture? Just think about it. Bill Clinton, Donald Trump, Joe Biden, Brett Kavanaugh, all being accused of sexual assault and they all is still it's all a bill being paid by the government by taxpayer money that we pay into. Do that make any sense? When, when Bill Clinton, when Bill Cosby was accused of raping all these women, everybody was outraged. Bill Crop, they took all his shows off television because he was accused of assaulting of females back in the day by giving them pills. But these guys over here, the politicians, they go on to prominence. They go on to higher office. What is wrong with that picture? This is so sad that it's funny in a sense. You have to laugh at it because it's a joke. It has to be a joke. It really has to be a joke to allow this to happen in the United States of America in this so-called Me Too movement. Is it really a Me Too movement? No, it's not. It's a hypocrite movement. Are we picking and choosing who we want to go out there? I remember when Kevin Hart was booted from the, um, was it the Grammys or the Oscars? Because he makes, he makes uh, homosexual jokes back in 2010 because of this Me Too movement. He only made jokes. He didn't assault anyone. He made jokes. And they removed him from his gig because of it. Entertainment again. Entertainment. So my thing is to all these Me Too to all these Me Too movements, advocates, and all these women groups, if you want people to take you serious, be consistent. Be consistent with your movement. Don't just pick on the entertainers and leave out the politicians. Because they need to be held accountable too. They need to be sent to jail. If it's true that they assaulted these women, they need to be sent to jail also. Not just the entertainers. Get it right.